Hi, I'm Adrian. I'm on the Flash team here at Adobe in San Francisco. Uh, today I have uh, Palm Pre. This is one of the first devices that's going to have Flash Player 10.1 on it, so you can deliver applications, content, and video across a consistent runtime. The first thing I'm going to do is show you one of the games that you can play on this. This is Mind the Blocks. It's up on AddictingGames.com. And as you probably know, about 70% of web games are built using Flash. So there's a ton of content out there if you have uh, full Flash Player 10 that you can play. And the way this works is you click on these guys and they disappear and eventually you uh, are able to drop some of those elements down to the bottom. One of the things you'll see me do a couple times here is go ahead and flick things up. The Palm Pre, one of the great advantages that it brings for people who are doing a lot of things throughout the day is it supports multitasking. So I can just flick a card out of the way and I can go show you something a little bit different. So I've got other applications here that are already running, uh, including this one. This is uh, a little bit of music. Uh, this is the Black Eyed Peas website. I can zoom in because it's got a multi-touch screen. Double click on that, uh, which actually causes it to scale the full screen. And I can go ahead and push play. You can hear a little bit of Will I Am. Flick that card out of the way and you'll notice the music stops immediately. Uh, we did a lot of work with Flash Player to make sure that it integrates with the device, can tell when the device transitions from one application to another. And that means that we can minimize battery consumption, CPU consumption, and actually have multiple instances of Flash running at the same time um, in different browser windows. So you now see I've got three different applications that are all running uh, that has Flash in them. This one is a movie trailer. So here I'm going to go into uh, to Yahoo Movies. Um, and they have trailers for a lot of movies. It immediately started up playing as I stepped into there. Of course, it has the accelerometer, so you get that nice effect when you rotate it, and you can take a look at the content. You can imagine you might be watching this while you're on the train. Maybe you see something interesting while you're on the train, something off the side there. Flick to pause it, go over to the camera, pull up the camera. I'm in the camera. You want to take a picture of whatever it is that you saw on the train. Could be anything these days. Take a quick photo, flip that card back, and I can go back to my movie trailer, and it keeps playing exactly where it left off. It's a really great interactivity, saving state, uh, and allowing you to interact with all the different content that is available for Flash Player. So this is the Palm Pre. Uh, it's one of the first devices that has full Flash Player 10 capabilities with Flash Player 10.1. We've got a lot of information available for developers up on Adobe Labs. I'd encourage you to go take a look at the content that we have up there. Uh, if you're a developer, there's great information about the new features that are in Flash Player 10.1, uh, as well as information about when it's going to be available. So again, I'd encourage you to go to Adobe Labs and you can find out more. Thank you very much.